Good morning guys, it's a new week. I've just dyed my hair pink. So this is gonna be the week of my pink hair. I'm living this January. I'm doing everything I've always wanted to do but have been too scared to or I don't know, something was holding me back. I've done a lot, I feel like I've done a lot. I've really started this year with a bang after I set that goal. But um, yeah, I did this for a video I'm filming this week for an Instagram transformation thing. But I am going to make my favorite breakfast smoothie protein shake thing right now and then get dressed and then head out and get do all the stuff we're gonna do today. Meet up with Natalie, go to a bunch of appointments because I'm changing a bunch of things. I have like three colors in my hair. I have like light pink, medium pink, and dark pink. Can you see? But from far away, it looks good, I think. How like, far? I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of the same for all of my, the things I make or do. Like far away? <laughs> yeah, just go really far. Are they beautiful? Yes. First, I want to grab a juice from my favorite little juice spot. Uh, just in this stairwell. Do you know that one? Ooh! You're in for a treat. They have this juice called the Five Green, I think it's called. Yeah, Five Green Juice. Green apple, cucumber, bitter gourd, celery, and green bell pepper. Usually when you have really bitter tasting vegetables, you need to add a lot of fruit to make, make it taste good. But this one only has some green apple, and somehow it's like, it's really balanced and delicious. I can't explain it. It's good. Just got back home. A lot happened today. I don't know what I'm going to put in the main video and what's in the vlog, but basically to summarize, I changed my hair to pink. I got my lashes done. I got a spray tan. I didn't do my face though because I don't want my skin to get more irritated than it already is right now. But yeah, if you haven't seen the main video, it will be up before this. I'll link it below if you want to see what all this is all about. The moving boxes have arrived. We are going to be moving next week, so these next two weeks are really, really busy actually because we're going to be moving, it's Jessica's wedding, and then it's Chinese New Year, Tom's whole family from France is coming here. It's going to get, things are going to get busy. But yeah, I'm going to change out of this because I'm getting my clothes all stained from the self-tanner. I'm going to change into something black and get this washed right away. We're at the movies. I remember we're seeing movie. Green Book. Good morning guys, I'm just about to film the final clip for my Instagram transformation video where I'm going to do my makeup, my nails, change this outfit, and hopefully... I don't know what I'm hoping for actually, what, am, what do I want out of this? I don't know, I just wanted to try these things. Hopefully I have some fun and get a good photo and uh, enjoy this whole experience. Overall, I'm happy with everything in general. Like the idea of pink hair, I finally did it. The microblading, I'm, I'm really liking. They're fading now and I can't wait to see the final result. What else? Uh, eyelashes, loving. I love, wake, I love waking up with like bolder, full eyebrows and bold full eyelashes. Like it looks like I'm kind of ready from here up already. And that's great. So the plan is I'm gonna finish everything up, do my makeup, and then Natalie's gonna come here and we're gonna go shoot somewhere. Originally I wanted to go out and show off my look on the streets, but the makeup I wanna do is a little bit extreme. If it works out, we'll see. So I'm not sure if, I'll probably still go out actually. That's <laughs> so fucking <laughs> Hi guys! I just finished my transformation. I wonder if I started an Instagram page today as this person, if I would get any followers. Oh, I was thinking of that too, like I have a new Instagram. No, I don't think so. <laughs> it looks really cheap. <laughs> so do you like it? No. Do you like anything about it? Mm, I actually think this cloak is pretty on you. Regardless the material. Oh really? Yeah, but you actually look nice. But just not the makeup. Come look, makes you look so 
weird. Oh, I think it's the lips. I think I need to relax on the overlining. They're better than what they were. <laughs> Could have been worse. <laughs> Imagine, I'm so happy I didn't wear those lips <laughs> inside. Oh my god. And you'd be like, let's see, and then you <laughs> no, 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 no. And it's like cracking and falling off. <laughs> okay, so we just finished filming and I'm gonna get changed and get out of all this ASAP and then I'm gonna edit the weekly vlog because I gotta post it tonight. Do you want food? Are you hungry? I can. I wanna check to live a room. Namke is here. Lunch time. It's 3 p.m. Oh, it's 4. We're just eating lunch now. Did you notice what's beside you? What? You! <laughs> what are you doing, baby? I saved them for you. I thought you could put them in your office and then you can kiss them whenever you want. No way, B. It's scary. It's scary. It's like a, those horror movie you cut something, someone's lips off. Good morning, everybody. We are on the way to our new flat because. It should be the last day they're they're doing stuff. It should be finally finished today and ready to be cleaned and then we can move in next week. So we're going to do the final inspection. There's this one wall that wasn't straight before and that would drive me crazy to see a wall that isn't straight. So they fixed that, but then they had to, um, they did the cement finish on the wall. So they had to match the cement finish to the rest of the wall and it just, wasn't looking right it didn't flow right so they were doing that today and hopefully that one looks right and then we're pretty much good to go after that I need to go and get Jessica a bridal shower gift because her bridal shower is this Friday and I'm not sure what I want to get I think I really love the mr. and mrs. stuff or like personalized stuff that people bought me for my bridal shower or maybe lingerie or homeware stuff but for homeware I don't know her colors because she's they just bought a place and they're renovating it now too and I don't want to ask her her colors or else it'll be obvious that she's having a bridal shower maybe and it's a surprise so yeah I need to go find something after that and then I also need to edit a video and that is my plan for today this is the wall mm. it's gonna dry though to look for a gift because they have really nice homeware and like homey stuff. It's not maybe curvy nipples. I bought the cutest little outfits for Chinese New Year for my niece and nephew on Tom's side because it's the year of the pig. Zara Kids has the cutest little outfits. I got this for Julia and it goes with that hat. Look how cute. And then I got Louis these pig pajamas. And then this shirt. And this cardigan. I thought this could go inside here and it looks so cute. They're little pig outfits. This is dinner tonight. It's fish curry with different vegetables and some cauliflower rice. I'll leave the recipe below if you're interested. You didn't see my final look right with my outfit hair everything okay ready oh my god babe <laughs> what's that lips it's really Kardashian. right yeah. i look like their sister oh my god i'm kind of like a kardashian i'm like a, one of their sisters right now you are and yesterday, the tanning lady kept calling me Kaylor instead of Taylor. <laughs> Except I don't have the butt. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is Friday, and I didn't film anything at all yesterday because I wasn't having the best day. I don't know about you, but once a month for one or two days, I kind of hate myself. Like, everything about me bothers me, and all my flaws, like, physically are magnified in my head at that point. I was having one of those days. I just felt achy, 
headache, not good about myself. So, and I had a lot to do. I actually was wearing one of these masks all day. I'm so happy to live in Asia where these are socially acceptable. Most people wear these when you're sick, but people will wear them if they th don't want to wear makeup and don't feel like they look good or if they just want to disappear from the world for a day but still have shit to do. We put these on. So I wore one of these and I got all my stuff done. I actually went to a new doctor. I've had a period where I've kind of given up and accepted my fate with my skin, but I was ready to try again. Um, I did a lot of research myself in gut health and stuff like that, and then I felt ready to go out and give this another shot. So I saw a doctor, and I'm going to be doing a bunch of tests. I got to do... We went through everything. We actually talked for an hour. I don't think that's normal for patients to sit there that long, but I just had so many questions because I'm genuinely so interested in this stuff. And I, I just like, I've been absorbing all the information like a sponge from videos, magazines, newspapers, um, wherever I can. So yeah, I just, I just love all, the, all this stuff. And I talked to him for a long time and he explained a lot. But first up, we are going to do a hormone test. I'm doing the Dutch test where I pee on a strip and I let it dry four times throughout a day. There's four samples. And then it's going to test all my hormones, cortisol, melatonin, uh, neurotransmitters, oxidative stress, nutritional organic acids, estrogen, like so many things because I'm a bit worried about having PCOS because I have ovarian cysts, I have cystic acne, so maybe this will give us some answers. And I can't do this till day 21 of my cycle, so I gotta wait a while. And I'm also gonna poo in a box. <laughs> um, this is gonna test my healthy bacteria, bad bacteria, um, if there's any parasites inside, if I'm actually digesting my macro micronutrients properly, if I have enough fiber, all that sort of stuff, this will also test that. And that's sort of where we're starting. I can't do this for another four days because I was taking a, a probiotic, so I have to stop that. And then the tests are gonna come back in like three weeks, so it'll be a while before I hear anything. But I'm very excited, I'm very excited about all this. I'm very excited to, I think I found a doctor who is really um, interested in like solving this puzzle that has gone on for so long and I've realized that it's been going on for a lot longer than I thought, almost since I was born. I need to make a whole video on this, especially if we figure it out and I'm finally acne free for a long period of time. I will make, I will tell you guys everything so I'm not going to go in depth now. But right now he has me on um, some zinc, vitamin C. I make this little like cocktail in the morning. It's like a lower dose because I already have a prenatal. But he said I definitely need to up my zinc because my wound healing is not good. I get a ton of scars and like marks no matter what when I have a pimple. He said something interesting. He said our body has this sort of currency inside. Like if you have a budget per month and you want to buy things, you have to give money towards that and then you can't afford other things. So our body is kind of the same way. And he said one of the first things the body sort of cuts out is um, like wound healing. It kind of feels like it doesn't really need that. So that's why I'm boosting my zinc to help with that. Also vitamin C to help with collagen and that sort of thing and vitamin B5. So he has me taking those three for now. And then once I get the results back, we will figure out the rest. So that's exciting. So I went there in the morning and then I, what did I do? Oh, I got Jessica's bridal shower gift. I went the previous day, but I couldn't find anything. And then I did a bunch of research online and I found Vera Wang actually has some really nice homeware stuff. So I went to the shop yesterday and I picked it up and then took it to the engraving shop. I got her this really nice Vera Wang um, photo frame for her wedding photo. And it has this infinity sign, which is like love forever, infinity love. Um, together forever that sort of symbol and I got their wedding date engraved at the bottom and they're building a new home So I hope that will look nice in there. I feel like silver should be able to go with anything Then I got my nails done finally removed the Christmas nails after a month and a half and just got a natural color and Then we I went to our new home because they're finishing up the final touches and we stayed there till like 8.30. Then I came home and slept at 9.30. And then this morning I woke up and I got a message which I screen capped just to prove it to you guys. But my app is saying that my cycle is starting so now it all makes sense because... 
I always, I always get this, I never noticed this when I was younger. I'd say my late 20s and 30s now, I get some bad mood swings and I get this voice in my head that just is really not nice towards myself. I just, I have these really down days and it's always the same, like always at the same point during my cycle. And I just feel things more. I feel things in my body more. I don't know why. I never used to have that. Anyways, I'm feeling better today. I have a fun day today. I'm going to see some friends. It's going to be fun. And I've still got some pink patches in my hair, so I'm still cool. And I had a really good workout, and I'm feeling good. Anyways, today is Jessica's bridal shower, so I'm just getting ready for that. I've got my makeup done. I'm going to probably wear my hair up because it's so patchy, so to try and hide some of this. And I'm going to get dressed. This is my standing office. So working from home, I like to change it up a bit. I like to move around. So I have my sitting office, which is the dining table in that room, in the living room. I have my standing office here, which is where I try to do most of my editing. And then I have my soft office, which is my bed. I actually don't ever work in my office office because the desk is too close to the wall. It's like stuck onto the wall and my knees hit the wall. It's kind of too, um, it's not long enough, I guess, for my legs. So yeah, these are my offices slash closet. All right, outfit is on, jewelry is on. I'm just trying to decide between these two shoes. So there's a little bit of navy blue in this jumpsuit and I'm leaning more, more towards the Manolos. These are actually the shoes I bought for my wedding and I would love to get a lot more use out of them because they're probably the most expensive shoes I've ever bought and they're pretty, so maybe I'll do them. But I know what you're thinking. It's not your day, Taylor. Why are you wearing white? Her cousins actually planned this bridal shower and it's a surprise. So they told her that she has um, like a, an event to go to, I'm pretty sure. Either an interview or an, or an event. And she's wearing gold to that. So they told us all to dress in all white and she's in gold. Which was very hard to do during this time of the year. There's not many white clothes to choose from. And so I grabbed this from Revolve. here and like there's like three people holding cameras and that's not Irene and I was like wait a second she's in white the only reason I didn't think anything because my sister was in here like I was like she comes tomorrow like I was like oh maybe there's like something later on I don't know like right like something small I thought but not not this not at all I was like I really thought I was working today oh I think yours is gonna be the same as mine <laughs> yeah so I hope we're right or else we don't know <laughs> oh we have oh, oh, my God. <laughs> one wrong, just that one. I'm wearing double shoulder pads right now. I think that's a fashion faux pas. My family. <laughs> oh, they they gave us gifts. Like, geez, just the bride's supposed to get gifts. I think um 
Bali sponsored and oh, it's like a little makeup bag. Makeup bag. Yeah. It's nice. Mm hmm. Ooh. Hmm. Tastes so good. Ooh. Champagne this is the one bears. We saw in the Times Square. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Do you want everything? <laughs> This is the best. <laughs> oh, it's uh, for the cinema. Wow. Oh, and we got, this is like homemade soap. It says Mrs. King. They made it. Made by the color is so pretty. Yeah. It was very lovely. We're at our new apartment now and we were supposed to be finished renovations today, but <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's re-renovating. <laughs> So we noticed something was not right with the ceiling and turns out they didn't add what some proper netting or something the first time. I don't know how to explain it, but they had to redo the ceiling basically so everything's covered. I think we can still move next week. They just need to repaint and then all, everything will be uncovered and it will be fine, hopefully. Imagine this was our decor. Like cool. this could be really Yeezy or something. Like this, yeah. I feel like that that could be a Yeezy light. Let's keep that then. <laughs> this is a look. Is it sweat now? Oh. It's been a long time. Now I think I'm gonna have dinner and we're gonna watch some stuff on Netflix because Danielle and I were giving each other recommendations so I have a whole list of things I want to watch. So yeah, this week has been a week of dyeing my hair pink and trying different beauty treatments. The pink I love, I definitely want to do again but because Jessica's wedding is next week, I'm just letting it fade out and wash out this week. And I might try it again. I am gonna go back towards my natural color next week I have a hair appointment. But I'm not sure how she's gonna do it. From what she said before, she's gonna like start putting in highlights and it will be a slow, gradual process. So since it will stay a little bit light, maybe I can try some other colors or try some pink again. A lot of you guys made some good recommendations on my Instagram about um, pink shampoos and stuff. So that might be something I'm into. We will see. This week has also been the week where Jessica's wedding festivities begin. First with her bridesmaid shower. Next week, there's a whole bunch of stuff. There's lunch, there's rehearsal, there's... Um, welcome drinks the wedding so it's going to be a busy wedding week also it's the week we're moving so yeah a lot's going on we still haven't we haven't packed anything yet i think we'll start packing this weekend thank you so much for watching this weekly vlog i will see you again in my next video bye yeah you shouldn't smile So elegant, mm -hmm. elegante.